Right now, you're probably thinking, what's up with her? She's experiencing auditory hallucinations. To understand what's going on with her, we need to take a look up here. Right here in the temporal lobe is where anything to do with hearing is processed. Despite what most people think, auditory hallucinations can happen to just about anyone. And they can be caused by things like intoxication, which can happen through alcohol or even drugs. Or it can be caused by extreme stress, from things as simple as work to things as large as the current global pandemic. But studies from schizophrenia patients have shown some interesting results. The patients experiencing auditory hallucinations have showed reduced gray matter in their auditory cortex, which is responsible for processing auditory information. They've also shown signs of faulty frontotemporal interactions, which is what's needed for us to make decisions. This means that it's hard to process what we hear, as well as control how we react to them. The perfect recipe for involuntary auditory hallucinations. Another thing that contributes to auditory hallucinations is damage to the left side of the brain. The left side responds to external speech. So when that's damaged, the right side of the brain has to process internal speech and external speech. In other words, they can't understand the difference between the voice in their head and the voices in the real world. Think about it like this. Most people can't tickle themselves because they know the difference between their own hands and someone else's hands. Right. Anyway, people with auditory hallucinations can tickle themselves. This is because they can't tell the difference between the internal stimuli, their own hand, and the external stimuli, someone else's hand. This observation is what helps scientists realize that auditory hallucinations are caused by the brain not being able to differentiate between the two types of stimuli. So, what can we do about it? Right now, there's no permanent treatment. There's no procedure or drug or vaccine that can just magically cure auditory hallucinations. However, there is a temporary fix. Occupying your brain with external stimuli, like music, can prevent the brain from focusing on internal stimuli. The external stimuli drowns out the internal stimuli. Let's check on our friend from earlier and see if she took her advice. Looks like she's doing pretty good.